Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Atma, you all already know. Right now, I'm coming back from a long hiatus. Going back to playing this game, right out of stories, okay? Check it out, guys. You know, yes, I'm a bit under the weather right now, so don't mind me if I sound a little hoarse or whatever. But, I'm coming back to this game, and check it out. I had already recorded all of this stuff, but because my computer's dead, you know, until I find a way to restore it to back to its you know, former glory or whatever and what have you, I won't be able to do anything. So, you know, that kind of sucks, right? But right now, I have a laptop that I got for Christmas. Sorry, not Christmas, my birthday. And I'm using that to record instead. And even though we had to redo these episodes, that's kind of okay because this was... I did record it in one take, so I mean, I don't know about doing one take or doing two takes because the last video was a little bit long. Uh, sorry. I wanted to go to my friends and make sure... Yeah, so this is the right file. We're only missing one more character for full completion, and that's, as I mentioned before in an earlier part, it's a post-game uh, character that you can only access through the uh, bonus dungeon of the game after you've beaten the game. You know, you only have to really beat it once, but since we didn't do it with the bonus dungeon in the in the second playthrough, you know, we, uh, we ended up saving the best for last. Or sorry, in the first playthrough, my mistake. Yeah, so I trusted my past self to save oh, right Morty. before I needed to, um, you know, do the next cutscene. So hopefully, we hey, can uh, where is get to the next part of the story without Ridley too much and effort. Gawain left first thing this morning. Left? Where'd they go? Soldiers of the Noir Mouton, it is time to retake Fort Helencia. Dragon, a silver dragon. Yes, that is a prey worthy of my skills as a hunter. Noir Mouton, follow me. We shall hunt the monster down. Humanity is powerless. They left the fort, but where? Where did the two of them go? To the end of the world, to the city of White Knights. The end of the world? So that's what she was talking about. Damn it, what is she up to? The vessel has awakened, and now she goes to the lair of the Gould Dragon. <laughs> No less of you. Right then. We have to hurry. Right. Alright, together we ride as comrade in arms. Well, first of all, that's very weird that uh Wow, I'm actually a pretty good level for this. <clears throat> first I want to talk about something. This guy, Jack, I have the feather ear on him. He should have been moving double time in that cutscene. Anyway, uh, a couple things to talk about. Yes, it appears that uh, Ridley and Gawain headed off to the city of White Knights, but we know what they're really doing, don't we, guys? 
Yeah, that's right. They're off doing some grocery shopping. What? What'd you think I was going to say? Yo, get your mind out of the gutter, son. <laughs> anyway, so basically, that was a cool cinematic, right? When the, uh, silver, dra the silver dragon popped out of the, the um, what do you call it? The castle and... What am I trying to do? Yeah, oh, okay, party members. He popped out of the castle and then he was like headed off to the city of White Knights. Which is kind of dope, really. Um, but, damn, actually... It's kind of weird because the darkness that encroached the uh, the screen, or us, I guess, was pretty pretty nuts. Like, I, I honestly don't even know what the fuck uh, was it Cross was talking about. Because he said, this guy is a silver dragon. And to me, he was clad in ebony armor or whatever. So I'm not really sure what was silver about him. He looks dark. I mean, maybe I'm just retarded. I don't know. What are we bringing to this final party, though? We could bring Galvados if you guys want to see him. Could bring the two orcs. Are they orcs? Yeah, I think they're orcs. And yeah, we could bring Gil, you know, for that redemption. You know, oh my boy Mikey. Mikey's kind of whack though. I mean, I, I love Mikey, but he's kind of whack. Romaria, of course, a good healer. She's probably my favorite healer out of all the people here in the in the uh, non-humans. Uh, well, anyone with a name that starts with Z is awesome, or A. You know, obviously, Atma. You know, everyone that starts with A is just sick. Um, I don't know who else to bring, though. Actually, I'm going to put Gil and then Romario, you know. Traditional, like, RPG fashion, right? You put the healer in the last slot, you know, for that extra added insurance. Let's double check our status real quick. We got the Arbitrator, the Aleph Strain, Training Device. I mean... We don't really need to use the Arbitrator, but because this is like a last... You know what? Hold on. I always do this. I, I keep it simple, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really like put any more crazy attacks. I mean, obviously the attacks are cool. I think I've showed them off. If I didn't, then, uh, you know, it's probably not worth showing off or something. You know, but um, I always keep it simple in battle. The, the least amount of frames that I lag... You know, the, the better, I think. I think I was going this way. Anyway, I'm off to the City of White Nice, which is, uh, sorry, it's been a while since I played this game. I'm trying to remember where it was. I believe I had to go through the Dicet region. Holy moly. Wait, are you actually kidding me? No way. Hold on a minute. Are you kidding me? You want me to walk the whole way? Fuck that, I'm taking my pig. Anyway, guys, a lot has happened. You know, let, let me... Allow me to explain what was going on throughout the uh, hiatus that I had. As soon as this truck passes by, it starts making noise. So basically, um, I mean, I'm sure the people that follow me on Twitter are already aware, but I was hospitalized recently. You know, I had to... Oh my god, my girl Alicia. I, I uh, had to get surgery done on me for um, uh, gallbladders, right? Like my gallbladders are fucked. They were like messed up, dude. So I turned left, right? Okay, so I had to go straight. Yeah, so, um. I, I think, what was it called? A laparoscopic, uh. cholecystectomy, something like that? I believe that was the. Shut up, phone. I believe that was the title of my, um, operation, and it, it hurt like hell. Uh, the whole entire time, not even just the operation before that, I was in, like, tremendous pain. And, uh, it, it got to a point where I, I had to, absolutely had to go to a hospital. Like, there was no. No more delaying it, it was just like, either I live or I die, so I'm like, oh shit. So, that's kind of what happened. And uh, ever since then, you know, actually I've just been holding a bunch of L's, IRL, like, what the fuck's that phone doing? So there was, there was that, I mean, before that my computer got wrecked, like, Shrek, right? That's why I put my computer, it got super messed up for a long time, then the operation happened, then a lot of other stuff happened. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's just been a crazy adventure, like, literally, like, I'm now recovered to the point where I can do stuff again, I can start exercising, and, which I plan to do because, uh, my heart rate was fine before then, but now my heart rate <clears throat> has gone up from, like, the standard 72 to, like, a little bit higher, like, close to 90, and I, I that bothers me, that bothers me a lot, because I should... I should not have 
heart rate that bad. Um, and uh, that just means I'm going to have heart problems later if I continue down this road. So I don't really want that many health issues, you know what I'm saying? Like, I kind of want to stay healthy and just, just trying to fucking live my life, bro. Okay, so I have to go right somewhere. Did I open it? Yeah, I opened the chest. Yeah, and uh, that's basically what the the whole the whole thing is. So that, that's kind of like the major update for what's been going on, you know. So hopefully no one's been like too upset that I've been gone for a while. I mean, you know, LPs have lives too. I knew I took the wrong turn at fucking Albuquerque. I just knew it. I knew I did. Anyway, so anyway, what's the? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so what's the matter with you? Oh, no, no. How, how does it go from the room? Anyway, what's good with you? <laughs> you know, like, I already talked about myself. What's good with you now? How you guys been doing? Like, hopefully, y'all been all right. I seem to have lost a lot of my fans over the years, which is kind of unfortunate. But I I still i am always, I'm always, like, really grateful to the loyal people. Like, shit. You guys know that, but you know, beyond anything, the most important thing to me, you know, aside from, you know, my beliefs, my religion, etc., you know, uh, aside from that, because that, I have to have that as the most important thing, if I require, what do you call it, salvation, you know, it's just an insurance thing, but aside from that, the only thing that's most important to me is loyalty. If you can demonstrate to me that I can trust, you know, the person that you are, that, that's all that matters to me. I don't care what you do. It doesn't matter if you lie to me, if you do whatever. As long as at the end of the day, I know that you did it for a loyal reason. Like if you did it to protect someone uh, or protect me or etc. Whatever. Whatever you do, as long as you do it for the good reason that it will not hurt me in the long run. You know what I'm saying? Like that loyalty is very important to me. Especially if you show loyalty to someone else that we both know. You know what I'm saying? Like. Let's say I was like your pirate commander. So I don't know why pirate, but let's say I was your pirate leader, right? And you had to cover for you, like, let's say your brother or something or, or someone important to you. And um, you were like, okay, so basically um, you lied to me to protect them. But I know that you're loyal to me anyway. And I know that you're lying, but then I recognize that you're trying to be loyal to the other person you're trying to protect. That is important to me. Like, I see that and I'm like, you get a pass. Um, it, same thing, you know, <clears throat> you know like, like I always tell everyone in, my, in a relationship that I'm in, you cheat on me once, you're, you're out. I mean, you can lie to me, it's fine, I don't really care as long as it's nothing too major, but the moment that you begin to cheat, that's it. You only get one shot, you know what I'm saying? You only get one chance. I don't care how perfect you are, that's it, you're done. Like, I don't give second chances. Not now when it comes to loyalty. Well, for other things, I'll give you a second chance. You know what I'm saying? Let's, I said, like, like, let's say you fucked up, you killed someone, or whatever. Or let, let's say you, uh, you know, you have all these issues, like mentally or something. I, I wouldn't care that much, you know, as long as, as long as I know that you're loyal to me. But the moment you go behind my back, that's it, man. You're toast. It seems that I don't have any uh, analysis balls. I should have bought some before I left. I, oh, I made a mental note last time to buy it, but I forgot that I needed it. So fuck, that kind of uh, that kind of blows actually, because I needed to know certain things. Well, I guess I don't necessarily need it, but it's nice to have. Also, this area is awesome. It has really cool music. But something really epic. This is perhaps one of the best fights in the non-human probably one of the best moments in non-human path right here one of the reasons that i enjoy playing it i don't enjoy it that much but this is a reason to enjoy it can't stop me who said i was trying to stop you you're a ballsy kid turning your back on the world for a woman Ooh, what a man thanks but i'm kind of in a hurry <laughs> what are you doing I didn't say I let you pass. Oh boy, the showdown of the century. I admire you, but we have some things to settle. Damn, Ger Gerald, right now saying that he admires us. Ooh, so we sullied the name, and we have to pay, 
pay in blood. Next sergeant of Vancouver is turned against his own people. I didn't mean to, it's a valid excuse. He's right, you know? You and me, Jack Russell. For the honor of Theater Vancouver, time for you to pay. All right, now this is gonna be a fight. Let's go, dude. I got the arbitrator. Oh, he broke my guard instantly. This guy knows what he's doing. I guess he's not called Gerard the Sprinting whatever the fuck for nothing. Oh no, that was Nocturne. Sprinting Shadow Nocturne. Oh. Am I dead? Do a wave blade. Maybe I should have uh, vaulted him. <clears throat> yeah, this special looks awesome. I don't know if I've shown it off, but it's amazing. Oh wow, someone got cooked. That was Gil. Allow me to repay the favor. You guys have seen this one. It's definitely the most damaging one in the game. However, mine isn't that strong because my uh, stat isn't all that high. Damn, son. Nice. No way. No way. There's something wrong there. He's supposed to be like saying good things. Strength berry. Yeah, Gil's dead. <laughs> you alright? Damn, okay, you win, you win. Yeah, we have grown strong. Yup. <clears throat> Stop apologizing, man. Raise your head, be a man. What's done is done, my friend. Yeah, choose your path. He's still so young, this Jack. My plan is to kick your ass for dishonoring us. <laughs> but I guess you've gotten too strong, even for me. Go already. You've got a woman waiting for you. No, right? Epic. He's all grown up. That he is, Gerald. That he is. Want me to risk my life for? I hope I find her someday. Damn, what about Alicia, bro? She's got them pantsuits, right? She's got the panties. Well, I don't know. I don't know what other reason for Alicia, except her story seems really interesting. Like, genuinely, like, her story's crazy. I think the story goes that her father uh, was interested in... Um, in, uh, <clears throat> what is it? What's her name? Um, Ellen? Ellen? But damn, I, I forgot this game already, bro. Oh my god, it's been a while. Um, let me see. <laughs> I have her here somewhere. <clears throat> it's the Theater Van Court people, so. Ellen. Yeah, that's it. Her. You know, maybe I'll do like a bonus episode of reading some of these. Not, maybe not all, because there's 177 entries, but I'll read like maybe the more popular votes, possibly. We'll see. This guy's kind of in my way, isn't he? Yep. Yo, buddy. Get the fuck out. Thank you. Thanks for moving your ass. Yeah, anyway, so... I mean, I've always had a weird uh, issue with characters that can... You know what? Since we made it here... Where are we, actually? for him and buy some stuff before we get to it. But I've always had a problem with characters that are like really young and just end up beating like the fucking veterans and like in their weapon of expertise like after like not even that long. I mean sure it's probably been a while in variety of stories. Like it's probably been a couple of uh maybe a couple years. Who knows? Maybe like I know it's definitely been at least a year because Ridley's birthday and like Jack's probably had a birthday by now or something. Like at the bare minimum you could say six months. Why do I keep going to this room? <laughs> but I know is it I know I can definitely confidently say that it's been a year since Jack's adventure. Like for definite. But 
how much more? I want to say it's been like maybe two or three years, but there's no evidence of that, you know what I mean? There's evidence of at least a year, but who really knows how long it's been, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I just feel like it's not enough time, no matter how young or motivated you are, <clears throat> their experience is just far more valuable than your ability to swing a sword, you know what I'm saying? If someone knows your style or knows how to deal with certain styles, you're just not going to beat them. Alright guys, I'm back. I don't know what the hell happened. The audio has some weird, massive issue. I don't know what caused that. Uh, this never happened to me on my desktop. This laptop has some problems. I, I feel like... It's, I don't think it's a laptop itself. I think it's just Windows 10. Windows 10 really, really sucks. Like, Windows 7 has its problems, sure, but it never had this many problems. Like, I've never... <clears throat> never, like played around with an OS that was this fucking inconsistent. Like, not even XP, not Vista. And I hate a Vista. Not Vista, not fucking 98. None, none of these things had problems like this one does. I was like, damn, bro, this thing is annoying. Well, whatever. Um, I'm gonna continue. I don't know how I'm gonna divide this. This is gonna be uh, really interesting because the video has continued to keep going, right? Like, it's still recording, but the audio, I had to stop it, save it prematurely, and then uh, now I'm going to have to edit that out. And it's, like, actually ear rape. Like, that's how bad it is. Like, I put it to hear the, <laughs> the sound so here we are through the headphones, change. and that thing was blasting my, head, my ears voice. from, like, I it's wouldn't even close. have it on. That's how bad it was. Anyway. What's your game, Jack? What are you plotting with your non-human and dragon friends? We're not plotting anything, Cross. Just what is it that you're so afraid of, anyway? What? Did you say, I'm afraid? All this killing, dwarves, elves, dragons? Seems to me you're afraid of something. Don't make sport of me! We are worlds apart, you and I. But... We have unfinished business from Helencia. Jack, draw your weapon. I came here to bring Ridley home. I don't have time to mess around with you. You insolent wretch! You shall mock me no more! You want to do this, Cross? All right, fine. We'll do this. He starts with a fucking oh my god, this is some this is some old bullshit, bro. He starts with a fucking uh, dude. I'm not trying to hit up the male knight. Use on who? What do you mean anyone but the fucking male knight? Kamikaze, I'm like all right, I'll join you. Except I can. Well, actually, it's a good thing he got into a link because he can't volt if he's in a link. So, I probably should, you know what, let me go after him then. The smartest thing would be to go after this guy. Alright, now he can't, now he can Oh yeah, he's gonna mess me up if I, I'm not careful. What? How did that happen? Oh, he's definitely direct, directly aiming at me, dude. Celestial line. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, there's no way I'm living that. Wow. That was unfortunate. Alright, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna. <clears throat> We're gonna meet up back here again. I'm gonna show you what happens in the run back round two. All right, don't touch that dial. Wait.
insolent wretch. You shall mock me no more. All right, folks. We have returned. It is time for the fight with this dude, Cross. You have crossed me for the last time. You have been crossed with me for far too long, my friend. I need to fucking aim at... Let me aim at the fucking cross, nigga. Oh, I got kamikaze like like crazy, dude. All right, this is not working. I'm the red one. Guys, guys, come here. Come here, guys. Just walk that. Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm in. I'm in a bit of a pickle. I ain't gonna lie. At least you can heal herself. Alright, I gotta use a fucking moon, whatever. Oh, why this don't shoot? There you go. Okay, this is so bad. Oh god. I'm, I'm panicking. Okay. Wait, wait. I don't wanna die again, seriously. When I have a celestial nectar, that's not it. Uh, I was looking for a Suchi, Suchi something something, Suchi Goma. Okay, I need him to break his attention from me. Hit someone else. I'm gonna be blocking until this dude runs out of fucking shits. Alright, alright, I'm blocking though, so like, in case he hits me, it should do reduced damage. I mean, this nigga shit is mad beast. They like inflate stats all day, like, cause you, cause you can beat them like no problem, but like the moment they do a volte, it does fucking absurd damage to you. Yo, how come? What the fuck? They didn't do shit to him, man. That did not do shit to him. That's amazing. All right, so I'm gonna use a revival thing on him. Celestial Nectar. Well, okay, first his portrait needs to go dark. Okay, there you go. Not good. Dude, how does that not knock him over? That's ridiculous. Just gotta mash, dude. Alright, did I kill him? That was kind of anticlimactic. I was hoping to finish him off with a Volti or something. But I guess uh, three on one means. You're just not gonna live. Alright, level 55, status cure. Yeah, I didn't fight at all on my way here. <clears throat> I probably should have fought. <clears throat> Excuse me, probably should have fought a little bit. Back to the same situation, Jack. Uh, I am finished. Jack. What are you doing? Kill me! Kill me, damn you! General Dynas, and Gawain, and Ridley have all stepped in to save your life. I won't disrespect their wishes. <laughs> Come on, Jack. They only chose to save him because he was... Because they're soft, okay? They're soft. Dragon, my prey, my beautiful prey, Cross, get back. Damn, Sinner shall be destroyed. Young hero, I shall wait with Quasar's vessel in the castle of the Golden Dragon. That nigga Cross got smoked. You ever seen someone get fried like that? Didn't think so, yo. 
All right, so we made it here to the City of White Knights, the underworld. Although it's still like just seven in the morning, seven or eight or something, and it's like pretty fucking dark here. It's kind of amazing. A an area made of sand, basically sand and dirt. The castle it's kind of cool, right? Dragon. And rock. Really is somewhere inside. Jack, let's go. Okay, we won't let you down, Ridley. One of the things I really love about this, so I should start by saying this. Uh, first, I don't remember the fucking layout to this because I didn't practice it. Uh, but actually, no. In all seriousness, in all seriousness, whoa, calm yourself down. You're going a little too fast there, my boy. But um, I am generally not a fan when games, uh, whenever they basically, you know, you have a different ending or you have several paths you can go. Oh shit. I just, well, that's payback for my pops. <laughs> uh, basically, when the games give you the, the opportunity to be able to take down an alternate path or a different ending, you know, um, I'm generally not a fan of them going to the same area. Like, I want to see a different story, you know, I want to see it go down a different route. And uh, in writer stories, I'm happy that it does go a different route, but I'm very rarely excited when the the same last dungeon applies or something like that. I know it's a lot more resource, but like, I'm actually very, very happy that in this game, it's the same fucking last dungeon. Like, I'm glad that it's uh, City of White Knights. Um, also, uh, there's a reason that I'm not going to get all the chests in, in this area. There's a lot of cool stuff we can get, but I can get in my own time. That looks like a super trap, but let's go up. Um, but basically, there, there's, like, okay, so we have, what do we have? We have, uh, the Fulver, I think, the Fulver, some, something like that. It's like a two-handed dark sword. I think I might have shown it off in the first, uh, time I showed the ending of the game. Does this look like a trap to you? It's a trap, right? Sometimes it's really hard to tell. Um, but there's that, there's like a mystery berry, I believe, and some other stuff. Um, this, those are the main, the main prizes. Um, I just don't feel like doing it. Like, if I come across it in Epic, but as of right now, I just want to go straight to the end of the, uh, of the dungeon and show off the ending of the game. Well, there's a chest right there. That's probably the mystery berry. I know that's not the sword. I'm gonna go really carefully. Okay. Oh no, it's a Tsuchinoko dumpling. Oh, that's even better than the berry. Oh, speaking of berries, let me use those two that I have. The two uh, uh, strength berries. I should have three. I have a life berry too. Oh, I'm gonna ruin the jackpot numbers. Three, three, three. Go to the casino with them. With them, Lux. Berries might I have. I don't think I have any other berries, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. It's just Book of Energy shit. Why do I even have this? I should just sell the shit out of it. Oh, okay. Well, actually, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, that's death. By the way, you fall from that high, you're dead. <laughs> there is no fucking you get up and shake it off afterward. No, nigga, you're dead. Bro, climb a fucking thing. Oh, God. Oh, there's the... Alright, I know there's a thing somewhere. Yeah, there it is. I do not want to take that one, though. That one takes me down, like, three or four flights or something. It's pretty vicious. I'm like, how do you slide past this point, man? That's... It's ridiculous. Alright. Looks like I might have taken the wrong turn. I had to go, like, around. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe not. Uh, maybe yes. Okay, one of these is a super trap. And it's probably this one right here. Because they wouldn't be hiding this unless it was worth keeping away from people. Oh, God. Those two on the side, yeah. I was about to say, this middle one looks real. The other two look fake as fuck. 
Is there anything here though? Probably not. Yeah, I was about to hit left. Like, yo, I would have probably like died. <laughs> oh fuck! No, 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 chill. More traps incoming. Okay, I need to get up there somehow. I forgot. I like honestly, I forgot the road. But I've been looking off to the side, and I know it's around here. That one looks fake, like I said. It is It is fake. But we are basically at an impasse, so we might as well take it and fucking lose. Lose some height. That's okay. See, how do you... That is ridiculous, dude. Okay, well... Oh, fuck me. Are you kidding me? Okay, well... We basically need to go all the way to... Fuck! Are you kidding me? I, I really have to stop fucking running, dude. For real. Alright, let's try to go up. Let's go up once again. We're gonna go up a long way. I kinda wanna go down, really. You see those long-ass pillars? I kinda wanna go down and see what the heck's below us. This is probably a trap. Oh, there's the fucking sword. That's amazing. Yeah, that's crazy. I can't believe it. We found the fucking sword chest. Oh, wow. I, I don't even know what the hell the status is. Oh, it's just like a dot. Something like that. Really interesting. Like a darkness dot. Pretty cool, though. Fuck that, I missed that. Yo, Gil, stop getting wrecked. All right. How does Romaria do better than you? That doesn't make any sense. She's not even a main fighter. I mean, she's a healer slash fighter, but... This is a Falvern, as I said. Um, wait, didn't I say this one was fake? Oh my god, I... What's wrong with me? Okay. This is bad. Okay, last time when I was, when I did this dungeon, I made it look really easy. But now, I don't know what I'm doing, apparently. But I'm going back to... This is beginning, I, I think. If I keep going left, I go straight to the beginning. So we're going to go up here. Let's try going more leftwards. Leftward bound. Oh... I have no choice but to go this way. Okay. Ah, well. No big deal. At least we got the sword. Um, the only thing we're missing now, I think, is the mystery berry. Which, no one really cares too much about that. I know there's going to be a fucking trap around here somewhere. There you go. That's the one I fell for earlier. Fell for a hook, hook, line, and sinker, dude. Hook, line, and stinker. Hook, line, and fucking stinker, bro. Alright, I've seen the bottom of the of the castle. Of the, the, the tip of the floating isle. Like it's really cool the this area. Like I wonder why does it float? You know what I'm saying? Like what why did Alright folks and we're back. Um the audio thing happen again i have no idea i really don't know why that why is that happening i don't know i don't know and it's really pissing me off this shouldn't even be happening in the first place all right let's go up here all right this is the way to the castle i know it for for sure well actually i think the left one is more towards the castle this one leads to a, the final chest which I believe is the mystery berry. Or something like that. No, okay, no, it's over here on the right. It's somewhere on the right. Oh, God. Let's just walk. Take our swoop. Ooh. Nice try, friend. Nice try, but no. That shit is fake as fuck. See that one? I had to remember not to hit it on the way back. Right? <clears throat> oh fuck! Oh my god! I was gonna say sorry about that, guys. Like I, uh, uh, my aunt came into the room and uh, asked me a couple questions, but 
that honestly sucks so much. Did that just happen? Yes, it did. How many flights did we go down? I don't know, but that was enough to break your neck and just kill you outright. Outright. You don't even need that much speed to kill yourself. Fuck, we're all the way over here? Fuck. I'm gonna skip this fight. Yeah, alright. Let's continue. Uh, yep. I knew it was fake, but... Essentially, what I want to do is go back to the left. <clears throat> or... Alright, guys. I apologize if you hear a uh, baby cry in the background. Nothing I can do about that. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. This is a fucking annoying ass baby crying because my arm brought him over. So, this is a problem. Why is this a problem? Because uh, editing out this shit's gonna be a pain and probably won't even be able to edit it out. And these are, this is not the kind of quality videos I wanna bring you guys. So for a portion of this until I can uh, you know, find a way to mitigate this sound, this will be kind of silent until I figure out my way back to the top. Not in here. So it has to be left. It has to be this left coming up here. Goodness me, I can't believe I've become such a noob at this. I used to know this place very well. I don't know why I don't... I guess as I'm getting older, I'm forgetting more shit. It's my only explanation. I mean, it makes sense, right? You know, you start holding less fucking information in your head. Because you become an old shit. <laughs> I'm not even 30 yet. What am, I, what am I call myself old for? Well, I bas basically, men mentally, I have the brain of a fucking 70 year old because I can't remember shit. Like, ever. Do I want to go right, though? I think I want to go left. Last time we went right. This time we're going to go left. And right it is. Right it is. I mean, it's the right way to go. Oh, no. I, I almost twitched. Fucking pushed right. I almost moved to the right. From the twitch impulse. Wait. It's starting to feel familiar. But I, I say feel familiar as in like I've been here already in this this time let's instead of going right let's go left yeah let's go left instead uh, pretty sure I've been here already yes I have however I really don't want to walk too fast. There you go. Man, I'm like, I know there's a trap here. You can't fool me. Alright, but I think we're in the right area. Okay, I think we're finally in the right area. Thank you. Okay, we made it. Okay, so when it started to look to feel familiar, it was because I've been... I have not been here, but I, this is like an area that I'm familiar with. Because of how many times I've been here in a playthrough. I don't know if that's making any sense. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. That brisk walk, though. Alright, we'll fight this. Got a wind. Oh, fuck. That's not wind. That's fucking earth. It's an earth spirit. Earth elemental. These guys have a. Whoa, these guys have a lot of HP. The light versions? I don't know why. Why do they have so much more than the Earth? They try to secretly imply that the light is better than Earth. Alright. Trust me, you don't want to walk this whole entire way. There's a huge, fucking huge trap waiting for you. Somewhere. Oh no, sorry, that was on the other side. Nigga. 
hit the fucking thing for the armor. I don't know, monk's, monk's bangle. This is, what is this, attack plus 20? Or probably some, something plus 10. Defense, yeah, I was like, it's probably defense, because monks are known for their vitality, right? Still walk a little bit slower here. Sometimes these guys are real jerks. They put they put the trap like really close to you or like they'll put it so like you walk and then like as soon as you start running uh it'll be like right next to your character. So like if you take an ex any step then you're you're done. I think I, yeah, I think I want to walk here because I couldn't remember if there was one, a trap here. I have to make a mental note every time of like, there's a there's a trap here, there's a trap there. I think there's, a, I think there's another one here. There you go. And when we get to the top, there's like two more. Well, there might be another trap over here too. Okay, now. So they, I know they put two at the top here though. They put two. For whatever reasons. You don't, you don't want to move right here. Don't want to move at all. Cause they, they put a trap right there. They'll put another one as soon as you start walking. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer that way you don't get hit by the other one. Yeah, I think you're good. Finally, we made it in. Wow, that was an obnoxious nightmare. All right, we're gonna save the game. Now let's beat the game. I was tempted in ending this uh, recording and doing it in another part because we're at an hour and 20 minutes in the recording. And this will probably end up being maybe a 30 minute, 40 minute episode at the most. Huh? But we'll see. It's you, Lord Lucian. Lady Ridley is above us, at the very top of the castle. I love how they don't question what? why Lucian's here. She has been overtaken by the elf within her. Help her quickly. Jack. He's just like, the fuck are you doing here, Lucian? <laughs> this music's so great. See, like, this story makes no sense. Like the uh, non-human side, they make everyone seem evil. Like Cross is evil. Uh, fucking Lucian and Zevo. Why? Why did they go so far to make the fairy creatures look so innocent and the humans bad? This doesn't make any sense. The humans are just doing what the fuck they normally are programmed to do, which is colonize. I mean, this is the this is part of our history. This is not nothing new. Animals do it too. What the fuck? Is that really so bad? I mean, I'm not trying to like defend humanity all the time, but it's like in this case, I think. It's a little justified to let him live, you know? Well, more than justified, I would say. See, now that's a gold dragon. You're telling me the Felion's a silver dragon? It doesn't even look silver. And not one silver about him. Not one. <laughs> I wonder what kind of conversation they're having. <laughs> Ridley! It's okay now. We've come to rescue you. Lady Ridley. You came. Ridley. I must thank you, young Jack. Lord Lucian? Thank you for preventing her awakening. This girl was to serve as the gold dragon's vessel, you see. There was nothing I could do to stop it. For I am... Aphelion, the silver dragon! <laughs> that face. <laughs> Jack, take Lady 
Lady Ridley. You're not even silver, though. Now. you at my side again. I do not fear death. <gasps> Father! No! No! It is done! It is done! <laughs> Now I need only destroy the vessel, and I will be free of the abominable sleep forever! <laughs> Humans, we shall live together forever, until the end of the world itself! Now, give me the vessel! You mean... You mean my Ridley? Over my dead body! Well, my Ridley? Oh boy. Ah, it's a shame that really can't fight with us, but that's okay. Alright, let's use an analysis ball on the boy. Right after we hit him with his limit break. Let's see if the game can remember that I used a, a, a fucking analysis ball. Get that early lead, you know what I'm saying? Wham! 1221. Looks like the game forgot that I used one, so what a waste. Oh god, you have a lot of HP, my, my dude. Dude, last time we had the epicness that was, you know, you know, Vitus destroy the boss. It was fucking epic. Wow, get fucked. That's bad. Hey, I was blocking though. Things are weak. You're the one dying, faggot. Oh boy, someone's gonna die. Let's see where we are still. For some reason I thought fucking defending was so true. Yo, Lamar. Darn it! Wow, I'm to I'm about to use like iron body or something. Sorry about that. That audio thing keeps happening. I don't know why the fuck it's happening. But whatever. It's fixed now, so let's go ahead and... Alright. Yeah, cool. God, I even hit me. Damn, Gans. What? That hitbox was nuts! Oh, that shit follow me. Snow skulls. Uh. to revive this kid. Always having to revive this fucking dumbass. Will my little break? 
And if that doesn't kill him, I use a Suchinoko dump it again, and then I break him. One last time. 998. Ooh, that's stronger each time. Ourselves. Do you imagine using this shit on the boss? How stupid would that be? Because I think that's a full heal. Like, it's like it's like Goku giving Cell a Senzu Bean. How stupid is that, right? Why would I ever fucking heal the boss back to full health? Oh, I get weak. Oh my god, this guy with the HP of the gods. About halfway done. This is not good at all. Here goes. The... Good lord, bro. We're getting fucking smoked. See how, see how much worse the non humans are? Our humans suck dick, man. Jesus. The fight's heating up. See, the color's changing now. The shit? Oh, Mario, stand by me, girl. Got you guys, don't worry about it. I don't care if this doesn't kill him. I just want to hurt him. I'm gonna let one of my party members kill him. Midas had the epic ass kick last time, or the punch, whatever the fuck she did. It was awesome. This time, who's gonna, who's gonna get the kill? Alright, party members, line up. Who's gonna hurt him? Midas dead. That's the first time I've ever seen her die. Fuck. This battle's epic and way closer than it was before. It's not really a hard fight though, like as long as you make sure everyone's uh, pretty good on HP. Like I had a lot of I had like 20 minutes. Uh, so let me see what's your HP now. Still a thousand. Alright, I'll hit him a couple times. Should be close to dying. Come on, guys, hit him. Alright, any hit now. Who's gonna grab this kill? Jesus. Oh my god, so close. A hundred and three damage left. Who's gonna do it? Who's gonna do it? Is it gonna be Gil? Is it gonna be Gantz? Get the revenge from his pops? How is he still alive? Oh, right, he has auto heal. Oh, his auto heal is keeping him alive. Let me get in the way so I can. 
Fuck. I did not mean to take the kill. Fucking hell, dude. <laughs> That's unfortunate, but whatever. It is what it is, right? Jesus Christ. Guardian is destroyed by that which he would guard. The power of humans is truly an awesome thing. We are powerful because we protect the people we love. Uh, not really. The desire to protect those that we love gives us purpose. <laughs> you may be right. You humans, you have no need for guardians anymore. What do you mean? Dragons exist only because humans want them to exist. It was your choice. Humans were ruled by dragons because that was what they willed. Nigga, who the fuck wanted to be ruled by dragons? Everyone wanted to kill them. What kind of nonsense are you fucking spouting, man? Fair be well. Fragile. Transient. Loving you. Well. Man, that's different from when he was like, fare thee well, my frail, frail children. See, like, both stories paint a different picture. Like, in this one, this guy's uh, a lot more ambitious, goal oriented towards becoming free, and kind of they show off that uh, he's a little bit evil, and they want him to escape from his, the confines of his eternal sleep but in the other one he was all for humanity he wanted to rule with them he wanted to be with them and observe them and stuff oh no go away but Gans you won't come with us Gans no dude this always gives me chills I'm always so sad this is undoubtedly the best part of the game in the non human path undoubtedly it's just filled with it's filled with all the, the feels and the epic, dramatic ending shenanigans. It truly is amazing. That that scene of them, the three friends, just over the body of Gawain, is just like amazing. It, it may have been what inspired the design of like the cover <laughs> with the three of them. <laughs> Fucking asshole Zane. So he stops laughing right there. The reason he stops laughing is because he knows he has Algandars and he's fated to die anyway. And I'm like, yeah, eat shit, faggot. The gods are punishing you for being a piece of shit. Fucking Zane, that asshole. Wanted to destroy all of humanity for no reason. Like, literally, if y'all just kept being friends with the humans, none of this would have been happening. Like, sure, Cross is a faggot, but you don't have to punish all of humanity for it. You could just like, be like, okay, well, we'll just put Cross to death. I mean, it was his fault that a lot of this happened. And also, I could say some of the fault does lie with humanity too because they refused to punish Cross. Like, they didn't really see the severity of the situation. Like, well, how could they know when no one really knows the fucking tales and the story? Like, even Genius, who had to do mad research, didn't know this stuff. So, um, it's clear that the people of old probably knew. But, like, that, that honestly begs me the question... Like, if the people of old knew this tale, and if they did will dragons, like if they wanted to be ruled by them, 
what happened to them? What happened to the records? Like, how come this shit ain't even a normal tradition? Like, no one knows this shit. Like, why does no one know? You know what I mean? Why did the fucking... Why did it die out with uh, Zayn and, you know, uh, everyone else? Like, it was, okay, it was Zayn, it was Gawain, and it was... Uh, Karen, right? Yeah, Karen Russell. Which, by the way, shout-outs to... Um, Jack Russell, I mean, you guys know Jack Russell, the type of dog, Karen Russell, another, another type of dog, another breed, rather, than the Karen, I think it was called the Karen, I don't know, well, I'll probably put it somewhere, um, but like, I, right now, I can't remember, Karen, Karen, Terror, I don't know, it's, whatever, but that's not the point, the point is that, if they knew about this shit, right, what happened to these records? Or why were they so hard to find? Why did Genius have to do so much digging to find them? This shit should have been normal. Like, absolutely accessible stuff. That even people in the castle should know. You know what I mean? But no one seems to know this. Why? If this was such a commonplace thing, why doesn't anyone know? You know, it almost seems like they wiped out humanity before. But that, that would contradict what the Order of the Taos is about. Which is... Humanity is only going to get wiped once and they don't get reborn. So if they did get wiped once and got reborn, then that would make the Order of Tataos invalid. So, very weird, right? I don't know. Um, it's just strange to me that it came to this. Like, that no one knew how serious it, it, the situation was. They didn't punish Cross. They allowed Cross to continue doing stupid shit. And then on top of that, the elves know everything. All the non-human people know everything, especially the elves. So they know that humans don't know. And then they're like, oh, the negligence of you humans. Well, fucking tell someone then. Like, don't you see? Don't you understand that in order to avoid this problem, you have to let people know? Like, it's like, it's like you're saying, okay, uh, I'm going to go to the store right now, right? Like, you have kids. I'm going to go to the store right now. But then you leave them by themselves. Like, what do you think is going to happen? They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They might touch a fucking... They, they might, you know, turn on the stove accidentally or, like, cause some ruckus or, like, put their finger in a, in a fucking um, electrical port or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just leave people that don't know anything are, are ignorant of stuff to, you know, to their own devices. That's not how it works. At that point, it's your own fault. You know, you can't be mad at a kid who doesn't know what he's doing and then he just fucking causes fire to a house. That was your fault for not paying attention, for not instructing them, you know what I mean? Anyway. Uh, yeah, let's stick around for the uh, ending scene because it's, it's very different from the one in the, that we saw in the human path. Yeah. Ridley. Ridley. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. So, now we beat the game. Let's talk a little bit about that ending scene, right? Like, what the fuck does it even mean? You know, it's been many, many years, and I still have no conclusive idea of what the fuck happened. A lot of people have some crazy theories on it. And some people, I mean, probably a majority of people have the stupidest theories I've ever read about this. You know, like, fucking Ridley reincarnated everyone, and, like, everyone's alive and whatever because, you know, fucking she's God mode now. It's some stupid shit, like... Basically, humans are alive because she's alive or some nonsense. I'm like, that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. First of all, she can't possibly have revived the humans. The humans are most likely dead, and it's evident by two things. One, the fact that Zane laughed maniacally, you know, telling the viewers that his plan has succeeded. And two, by the fact that everything was empty. In that in that last cutscene, sure it was nighttime, but we already know Radiata is a busy place even at night. You'll see niggas around, right? So basically, humans are dead. 
in this. I mean, that's that's confirmed. It doesn't matter what kind of theory you you relate with. That is a fact. The humans are dead. Okay, the order of the Talos was completed because that is the the what the non humans set out to do. All right. Now the real confusing thing is why are Jack and Ridley alive? So now this is where the theory comes into play. It could be that Ridley is the only person alive and that she is imagining Jack. That's personally what I think. I feel like Jack had no, like there's no way he would live. Why? His voice was echoey, so it would mean that he's not really in this kind of realm of existence. He's probably in the afterlife and she might be able to see him because of her powers. I don't know. But the, I think that Jack's actually dead. And that she might just be imagining him or like it might be a like a different dimensional Jack that she is able to conjure up in her mind or some some bullshit like that, right? That makes more sense to me because if she's really the only person that could be alive because of the because of Quasar's power, then you know, she is the vessel. She is technically still have hap in harboring you know, sorry, harboring her, her body or her soul. So she's technically still elf. That elf part of her keeps her alive, kind of like in Final Fantasy VI, how um, because Terra was still half human, the uh, the sum inside of her did not get, you know, uh, didn't you know when that whole shit was going on in the ending when all the magic and summons were dying, uh, yeah. So she stayed alive because of her human portion, and she was able to retain her power. Same thing is happening right here. She has the elven part of her still inside of her soul because Hap was already transmigrated into her. And because of that, she lives. So that's why I believe she's still alive. You know, I think that the non-humans are all still alive. And if there's some kind of wipe that's going to happen soon, at least she'll be able to reincarnate. I don't know if she'll keep her body or her form, but uh, at the very least, she'll be able to reincarnate with her soul intact, you know, uh, in whatever corporeal form she takes afterwards. But... The fact of the matter is that she's alive because of her elven part. So, we already disclosed that. Now, you know, the real question is, how is Jack there? Some people believe that he's there because, you know, he... I don't know. I, I don't even know what the fuck they even claim. But they put some ridiculous stuff like, oh, he's he's alive because he's the main character. Or, like, he's this, this, and that. Uh, but it doesn't explain the echoey voice and none of that shit. I think my theory makes the most sense, uh, given all the stuff, given all that we have to, like, really dissect this, all the info we have here. You know, we have an empty, an empty world for Radiata. We have, um, the Eternal Night. You know, we have fucking Ridley that's glowing, so she's received the power. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fucking Echoey Voice Jack, I don't know if I mentioned that one. And, um, yeah, it's just like, I don't know. The fact that, uh, she, I, I just think she's imagining Jack and that's why, you know, uh, the, the ending is like that. I, I mean, whatever the cliffhanger, it, it is a cliffhanger. I mean, let's think about it. It ends in a way that it kind of leaves it open to interpretation, right? Like what happens from here? We don't know, you know, like no one knows what happens here. Does the order to Taos take place now? Or what happens? I mean, no one knows. You know, it's like no one really knows. And that's kind of why I wanted to see in my lifetime a Ride Out of Stories 2. I mean, I doubt we'll ever see it ever. But, you know, it was still it was still nice while it lasted, right? I mean, at least I could play this game every now and again and kind of enjoy that magic all over again. But as for, you know what comes after we'll we'll probably never know anyway i'm gonna save here i'm gonna call it a recording for now i mean this is about a two hour long recording close to anyway uh and yeah i, I don't like this i don't like this at all this is gonna be split down for maybe a 40 minute video 50 at the most but we'll, we'll see we'll see where it goes and the next time that I record this, I'm going to be doing maybe one solid... No, it probably won't be one solid episode. It'll probably be a couple episodes through the post-dungeon because it is a long dungeon. And you have to do it all in one take. Um, at least I do it in all in one take. But anyway, I'm going to end it here. Next time we'll do the, the post-game. We'll show off the final character 
and then we'll be done with the with the let's play for good until you know whenever you guys decide to come up with ideas for extras or something like i don't know following a character around for a whole day that was one of them you know showing off the uh the bios that's another bonus content thing that i could do i'll leave it up to you to decide i'm gonna take a break now and maybe fire up some skyward sword once i figure out what's going on with the audio issues so thanks for watching guys i appreciate it leave a comment rate sub if you like and i'll see you in the next one so peace out and keep it styling y'all